Hi, my name is Milan and I'm the product manager here at Corridor. Today, we're gonna to go over the three reasons why you should not ignore facts and assumptions. Let's get started. One of the most important, but often underrated sections of any design sprint is the facts and assumptions section. This is where you spell out exactly what the customer needs to do in order to be successful with your product. By being clear and concise, you can avoid any confusion and ensure that the customer is getting the most out of your software. In this video, we will discuss the three major issues that can arise from skipping or not paying attention to your facts and assumptions during a design sprint. They are, number one, no one agrees with the assumption. Number two, they can be utterly wrong. Number three, it can alter system architecture and be devastating for teams. If you're not careful, these issues can easily lead to missed deadlines, frustrated customers, and ultimately a failed product. So let's take a closer look at each of them. When it comes to assumptions in software, there are two main types, functional and non-functional. Functional assumptions are those that relate to the specific functionality of your software. For example, you may assume that a customer will be able to use your software to achieve their desired goal. Non-functional assumptions, on the other hand, relate to more general aspects of your software, such as performance or scalability. One of the biggest dangers of making assumptions in software is that it can lead to miscommunication between you and your team. This is because assumptions are often based on personal beliefs or opinions rather than on facts. As a result, it's easy for assumptions to be misinterpreted or misunderstood, which can cause problems down the line. Reason number one, no one agrees with the assumptions. By the definition of the word assumption, it is only valid if everyone agrees with it. When you are in a design sprint and assumptions are being made, be sure to ask everyone for their opinion. If even one person disagrees with the assumption, then it is no longer valid and it needs to be rewritten. This can save your team a lot of time and frustration later down the road. Reason number two, they can be utterly wrong. Assumptions are based on beliefs or opinions, which means they can be wrong. If an assumption is made that is not backed by data or facts, then it's likely that it will eventually lead to problems. This is why it's so important to make sure that assumptions are always based on solid evidence. Reason number three, they can be devastating to system architecture and for your team. If assumptions are made about the system architecture, it can be devastating for your team. This is because assumptions can lead to changes in the way that your software is designed and developed. As a result, it's important to make sure that assumptions are never made about the system architecture without first consulting with your team. To avoid this, it's important to be clear and concise when communicating assumptions to your team. Make sure that everyone is on the same page and that there is no room for misinterpretation. Otherwise, you run the risk of your software being developed incorrectly, which can lead to missed deadlines and frustrated customers. In conclusion, always remember to include the facts and assumptions section in your design sprints. By being clear and concise, you can avoid miscommunication and ensure that your software is developed correctly. This will help you meet deadlines, satisfy customers, and ultimately create a successful product. At Corridor, we take our time when going through the facts and assumptions during a design sprint with any of our clients. This ensures our products always come out as expected and nobody is surprised. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or shoot us an email. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. Corridor out.